Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to Prep Medic. In this week's video, we're discussing everyday carry backpack armor. When I say everyday carry armor, I am not talking about throwing on a plate carrier and going about our business. That's just not feasible. And if there's one thing I know about everyday carry items, it's that if it inconveniences you or you have to go super out of your way to do it, you're going to stop doing it. I don't want to come out here and start fear mongering because the chances of dying in an active shooter situation in the United States is still exceptionally low. I think you're sitting at about a 1 in 110,000 chance of dying in an active shooter situation, which for contrast, more people still die in car wrecks than do in shootings. So if you're looking at investing in this and or seatbelts, probably choose seatbelts because that is has a higher chance of saving your life than one of these. That being said, for those of us that do want to be a little bit more prepared, we're worried about the potential for workplace violence, active shooter, um, or just gun violence in general, I think this is a really great option that is not going to make you go out of your way to carry it. So before we get too far into the video, I'm going to come out and say it. Both of these products were sent to me by Premier Body Armor, but I am not sponsored by them. I can say anything I want about these products. I'm under no contractual ob obligation to be nice. Uh, I do have an affiliate link and a code that'll get you 10% off. It does help support the channel, but no pressure. Go with what you want to do. If something fits your lifestyle that you see here or you're looking at picking one up, I'd appreciate you using it. Otherwise, there are other uh, companies out there making really cool products. I just think Premier has uh, some of the most versatile on the market. The first set of products we're going to be talking about are uh, backpack inserts. Specifically, we'll talk about Premier's uh, backpack inserts because they have a lot of different stuff on their website. First of all, uh, these inserts come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They're all soft armor, so this is all Kev Kevlar armor. It's not like a hard plate you're sliding in there. And almost all of their inserts are 3A rated, which means they're going to stop your handgun threats. Uh, they're also going to stop your shotgun buckshot up to 12 gauge. I think that's fine because the majority of gun violence in the United States is uh, perpetrated with a handgun. Uh, that being said, be aware this isn't going to stop your ARs, AKs, you know, 5.56, 7.62, anything like that. It's not going to stop your rifle threats. For some context, uh, while I was a reserve deputy, we wore soft armor for general patrol, and that was a 3A armor. It's acceptable in a lot of different situations. Just you have to evaluate what your risk is uh, and decide if that's enough for you. They do make a special threat protection plate uh, that you can slide into a laptop sleeve, uh, but that gets a little bit pricey. It gets into, you know, the four or $500 range. To compare that, these ones right here are going to run you about $200. This one here, I think is like 210, 215, a little bit less if you use my code. But when you start getting into the smaller ones, so if you're getting, you know, Something for this guy, this actually has armor in it right now. This is going to run you about that uh, 150, 140 uh, range. So there's a variety of different stuff on their site. I should say that they do make specific body armor for specific backpacks. So they make stuff for Vertex, 511, Elberstock, Haley Strategic, and then some you know other smaller companies. But they also make a lot of generic sizes. So if you're watching this and you're running some old Jansport backpack and you don't want to give that up and buy you know a two three hundred dollar EDC backpack, that's totally fine. They make stuff that has kind of generic cuts in a variety of different sizes that you can get something that will fit that if this is a capability you want to add into your everyday carry. So for these guys, um, these are designed to either fit in a laptop sleeve or this one will fit in the Vertex gamut. And that's actually what I run. So I've been running this backpack for a long time. And what's really cool is this allows me to slide it into a pocket that I would never use otherwise. So you come into this back pocket here, uh, and I think these have actually gotten harder to fill over the years. So I'm probably going to make a fool of myself on YouTube. So you've got this pack pocket down here and you have this plastic organizer that comes out. And then all I have to do to put this armor in is I take this, make sure the back is facing my body, throw it in there, and then this guy will come close on it all. And I really like that because it only adds about two pounds to my pack, um, which really is negligible. Like if you're doing a speed hike or something, 
Uh, sure, two pounds is a lot, but for just your general backpack, we're carrying, you know, five, 10 pound laptops. What's the difference of a little bit of body armor? And then that just zips up. I didn't do the bottom super well there. That's something I'll have to fix at the end of this video. And then once this is zipped up, now this backpack uh, is ballistic protected. What's great about that is if I'm, you know, running away from an active shooter, which honestly, like we all have those shower arguments, like we're gonna go confront them. But if it's just a situation where you need to get out, wearing this on my back, a little bit harder to take a pot shot at my back, it is protecting me. Gives me actually a little bit more protection than a lot of ballistic vests because it's torso length. If you were going to confront or if you wanted something for a forward facing threat, you could wear your backpack backwards. That's gonna give you a little bit of protection. Just be aware uh, when we're talking about either confronting or running away, anytime you're wearing a backpack, it's going to slow you down a little bit. Uh, that slowing down could be the difference between life or death. So you have to weigh the risks of wearing something like this. Is it going to help you or do you need the speed a little bit more than the protection? You know, that's, that's very situationally dependent. So that's kind of cool. You can throw this in, doesn't really affect anything. Um, you know, you're sending your kid to school, you just want something, a little bit of peace of mind, you can throw this on their backs um, and it's really easy to do. Like I said, they have sizes for pretty much any uh, backpack out there. And same with this guy, this also has uh, body armor in the back. Uh, I like Vertex, it's what I've used for years, but there are a lot of different uh, brands of EDC backpacks that do a really great job. Um, and this guy here, same thing, the armor just sits right in here and you'll never know you had it from your body armor. So this will sit, it'll protect your vital organs and you can go from there. That is one option. I think it's really feasible. You know, 200 bucks is a lot to spend for something that will probably never see use whatsoever. Um, for me, it's worth it, but that's not the same for everybody. The second product I wanna talk about, and I think really brings that feasibility and uh, kind of usability together, is going to be this laptop case. So this is a laptop case with two layers of 3A armor. Now, some of you guys are thinking, wow, two layers of 3A armor, I bet you that'll stop a rifle. It doesn't. Um, I believe Demolition Ranch did a video on these and they shot it with a bunch of handguns and everything, it stopped everything. But the second they brought out the AR-15, it went through, I think, five layers of those. It's just such a fast, small round um, that it's able to penetrate a lot of this armor and you really aren't gonna stop it until you get into the higher rifle protection as the name would imply. So this guy here is a thick case. It'll fit everything up to a 16 inch uh, MacBook Pro. So this is a, I think it's a 2022, 20, maybe 2021, uh, MacBook Pro, it's about as thick as you can get. And then I've put a big case on it as well. And even this fits in here, no issues. Um, so it'll fit a variety of different laptops. It also has a pocket in the front if you wanna throw your chargers, anything like that. Now they say it's not designed to protect your laptop. Obviously this is going to protect it from a couple falls and dings and scrapes. But what's really cool is most of us carry our laptops in a backpack. So you throw this in and now you effectively have backpack armor um, that's also serving a dual purpose of uh, protecting your laptop. And it's pretty low pro. I, I kind of wish they didn't put this little icon down there because I don't really want something that says body armor. Just, you know, I'm pulling this out in a meeting uh, for people that really aren't in that EDC mindset. It might be kind of weird. Honestly, it's totally fine. And I think it's a really... A uh, unique solution for this. So this is another option for you if you're looking at carrying it. What I like about both of these solutions is that it, they're easy, is that you don't have to think about it. You know, we all have a laptop case of some kind. Um, we all, you know, carry a backpack or a bag, or most of us carry a backpack or a bag in our daily life. And being able to have that increased capability if something were to pop off around us, is just kind of nice peace of mind. So not fear mongering, it still wouldn't be my first thing to buy. I would probably go with medical supplies and then look at maybe arming yourself. Well, training before everything, then medical supplies, arming yourself, um, you know, wearing your seatbelt and wearing your helmet if you're on a motorcycle or a bicycle. Uh, and then kind of way back here, I'd look at body armor. Like I said, I've got a link with a code up there. I also have a link and a code for uh, Vertex. If you are looking at picking anything up, it does help support the channel. But like I said, no pressure there.
If you have any questions, comments, concerns, snide remarks, leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next week.